Hi, everybody. Okay, um, today's Sunday and July 2nd. I think it's July 2nd. Anyhow, um, I wanted to tell you a few things real quick. And then I will continue reading my letters to you guys from Pendar, and Drake, and Elizabeth and stuff. But I noticed I have several email accounts, and I was just going through them today, which I usually don't go through my uh, settings and my account information and stuff. But on the Messenger, you know, I got the Messenger. And I the other before I went to Boho, I got a email saying that um, Real World Me wanted me to join as a. Uh, friend on Yahoo chat and I was like oh that is so cool because um, Queen Elizabeth and Pendar used real world M and real world M E and uh, so anyhow today I was looking at my settings and stuff and it says okay well my email address is weeping willow tree but then it says my screen name weeping willow tree and my name Pen or, uh, uh, Pendar Tanya and then it's got a uh, tree T and I haven't used that name in forever and then all, all my email accounts are like um, being changed and there's new stuff being added to my settings and uh, on my order of chaos yahoo account um, 702-561-0060 my master mason's number had been in, in you know whatever you call it intermeshed with my email account so that's master mason's number 702-561-0060 and so now that's um, so it's making it I, I can only guess that Somebody, Elizabeth, or is doing that to make it look like these letters that I'm reading to you, like I wrote them to myself from other email addresses, which I did not. Yeah. And so it's a, you know, a feeble attempt. I'm sure that she's, that's what's going on. So I don't know if my master Mason still has that number anymore or not. But so, like I said, my email accounts and everything um, say that my name is Pendar and that my email address is Real World M or Real World M E and Master Mason's number and da da da. So, anyhow, that was one of our attempts to try to um, make it look like I'm lying and like I just wrote all that stuff to myself. Another thing I wanted to tell you guys, too, a few days ago I went to the Hells Angels Clubhouse here in Las Vegas. And it was before the sun came up. And I jumped the fence. And I, it was like a wall about four feet high, you know, and then black iron bars. And I pulled up on the bars and pulled myself up on the wall and squeezed through the bars, black iron fence and um, jumped over, over and sat on the front patio of the clubhouse for four hours. In the lawn chairs, I had a little cooler with a strap on it, you know, the carrying cooler with water and soda and my ink pens and, you know, something to write in. And anyhow, um, I was going to wait there and was not going to leave until Troy Regis came and talked to me. And if they were going to come and say, get out of here, I was going to say, no, make me. <laughs> and I would have, too. I would have stayed. but. I found out that they were in Sturgis for three or four days, but what happened was after four hours, the neighbor who is the world or who is the president of the Las Vegas Charter Hells Angels came over and says, "You're not supposed to be here. You can't be here." I go, "Yes, I can." No, you're not. You're not supposed to be here. I go, "Troy Regas knows I'm here and he owns the Hells Angels," and he did know because I called his voicemail and left a message telling him that I trespassed and jumped the fence on the clubhouse and was sitting there waiting for him. I wasn't going to leave until he talked to me or at least made. Um, talked to me on the phone and made a permanent appointment, uh, you know, with me within the week at a set time and a set date to communicate with me. Anyhow, she's like, you got to leave. And she's like, I'm calling Scott, whoever that is. And then she gets on the phone and she's calling to Hell's Angels going, she won't leave, she won't leave. And I'm like, whatever. And then she had um, on, the, on the speaker phone one of the, the president of the Hell's Angels and he's like, you need to get the fuck up out of there. I go, you need to be fucking, have a little bit of fucking respect. You don't need to be so damn rude. Like that. And he's like, you just can't be there. I'm like, I'm leaving. I'll be back, though. And I will. I'm going to come back, and I will jump that fence. I don't care if they beat me up. I don't care what they do. And they don't call cops. That's against their religion. But even if they did, I don't care. I got something to say, and I ain't going to leave until that fucking man talks to me. And I will jump fences, and I will trespass, and I will come up with all kinds of crazy stuff. I'll never hurt nobody, and I'll never break anything or destroy anybody's property. I'll never break into the clubhouse. Like that girl was going, you broke in. I go, I didn't break in. I jumped the fence. She's like, oh, calling the Hells Angels. She won't leave. She's not. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I left my uh, YouTube account, you know, so they could find my videos in there. And uh, we'll see what happens, but I will be going back to that clubhouse, no doubt. 
And also I'm going to Street Vibrations in September where like 40,000 or 50,000 bikers from all over come there in Reno, Nevada in September. So I'll be going there. So I'll, you know, I'll definitely be by the clubhouse. And when I get by that Reno clubhouse next time, I will jump that fence and I will not leave until somebody talks to me. I'll fucking bring a tent and everything. All right, uh, I gotta go um, shopping. Ha! Peace out. <laughs>